he can't afford a Rolls or a Bentley, he has to buy a second-hand Ford, sang Ray Davis of the Kinks in 1969. How times have changed. Today, you can buy a 1980s Bentley for banger money, while Fords of that era are blue-chip classics. Eye-watering prices paid at auction include £122,500 for a 1987 Sierra Cosworth RS500, £52,750 for a 1990 Sapphire Cosworth 4x4 and £60,188 for a 1985 Escort RS Turbo. And it's not only fast Fords, earlier this year, a 1978 Fiesta 950, formerly an exhibit at London's Science Museum. Sold for pound 15, 200. In such company, the new Fiesta ST Performance Edition looks good value at £26,495. That's some £4,000 more expensive than a fully loaded ST3, however, and a whopping £7,000 more than the entry level ST1. It also forces the car into contention with hot hatchbacks from the class above, such as the Hyundai i30N and Renault Megane RS280. So, what makes this pocket rocket special, and is it worth the money? You'll spot the deep orange paint first. It's compulsory on the Performance Edition, and even more dazzlingly day glow than the orange fury hue on the Focus Street new 18-inch, 10-spoke alloys are more subtle, and save nearly 2 kilograms of unsprung weight per corner. The car also sits closer to the tarmac, 15mm at the front and 10mm at the rear, thanks to Ford Performance adjustable coilover suspension. My mother thought it gaudy, while my 16-year-old nephew said it looked sick. Which is probably as it should be. Read more, the Bentley Bentayga Speed is officially the fastest SUV on sale. But should you buy one? The feistiest Fiesta also comes with the performance pack, usually £925 even on the ST3. It comprises a Kaif Limited slip differential to haul the car around bends, launch control for those all-important traffic light getaways, plus shift lights to help you grab the next gear. More prosaically, you get all the equipment that comes as standard on the SD3, including LED headlights, navigation, heated seats, heated steering wheel and reversing camera. So far, so good, but these upgrades aren't bolstered by extra power. The Performance Edition shares its 1.5-litre petrol engine and 6-speed manual box with the regular street that means 200 horsepower, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and 144 miles per hour flat out, plus impressive 40.4 miles per gallon economy, the latter boosted by clever tech that deactivates one of the engine's three cylinders under light loads. The transition, from GTI Warrior to Eco Warrior, is utterly seamless. You'll be having way too much fun to worry about miles per gallon, though. The Fiesta ST is a LOL emoji on wheels, an intravenous sugar hit of alert steering, instant turn in and terrier like tenacity in corners. Push hard and it maintains a neutral, throttle adjustable balance that's rare in a front driven car. Switching into sport or race modes makes things still more intense, with pops and fizzes from the twin tailpipes. For more on this story, visit the news article link.